morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Friday, y'all. It's the weekend, baby. It's the weekend. How's everybody doing? Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's a beautiful day. It's supposed to get in the 60s. I got on boots today, though. Usually, if it get colder than 60, I don't wear boots, but I did today because I ain't want to have my uh, I ain't want to have my feet out. <laughs> so, how's everybody doing? I just wanted to come on and I don't know. I just was thinking about. I, I was listening to the to the to the Today Show while I was getting ready, and they were they had the. Um, I can't even think of the mom's name now. Is it Kelsey? She got a son playing with the uh, Eagles and one playing with the Chiefs. They're playing against each other in the Super Bowl, two brothers. Isn't that something? Caucasian lady. And then you got two African-American quarterbacks uh, on opposing teams. And then I, I was sitting and I was reflecting on what's been going on in the world and do we see God at work and do we see what happens and the things that we dwell on and the things that go overlooked. So I told y'all sometimes I'm very analytical, sometimes to a fault, honestly. Sometimes things just what it is, ain't no explanation, it just happens. Two plus two is four and you can't dispute it, it is what it is, you can't change it, right? It may sound crazy. But anyway, where I was going with that is this. They had Demar Hamlin there at uh, what they play the Super Bowl, y'all? In uh, shoot, the bottom. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna make this statement again. I'm moisturized, not breezy, but it's something about the lighting when I'm uh, coming into the sun. It makes me look greasy. It, it changes the texture. I, I mean, just anyway. So just, just, you might not want to see me. Maybe I put some over. I, I'll just do a, some other kind of video, uh, visuals. But anyway, what I wanted to talk about, that magnificence of God and a lot of things that we overlook. So I'm looking at the two brothers on opposing Super Bowl teams this year. Two African-American younger quarterbacks on opposing teams. You got the Lord through the wisdom of the medical staff with the Bills resuscitated DeMar Hamlin. He's there at the Super Bowl. And then on opposite sides of the world, you got in Memphis, Tennessee. Now, 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 now listen to this. So all Caucasian staff resuscitated a young professional ball player and then in Memphis, Tennessee you got five with others participating five African American men murdering another African American so in some ways we have to ask ourselves you know because in this world we're all responsible for each other whether y'all want to believe it or not a lot of people are like that's not my problem baby let me tell you any problem that exists in the world is your problem because it affects all, us all you ever seen that visual and i've looked for it and i can't find it I, I could not find it and i'm gonna still search for it but it's these men it's these people sitting around a table and everybody is literally starving to death when all they have to do is assist each other and everybody could thrive and I want to I've been looking for that visual and I cannot find it somebody sent it to me in a video I don't know how long ago it's been and we're, we're all in this together the Bible we were commanded to love ye one another that is real and so when you close your door and you're safe in your home pray for those out there that doesn't have that same provision that same uh, protection Cause it's real for some people, man. And that lady under that that feed, she put it in perspective for me. Cause you know, I, I don't, I don't worry about where my next meal gonna come from. Sometimes I be at work wondering what in the world I'm gonna take out the freezer to cook. You understand what I'm saying? I don't have the, I have the pleasure of choice when these people don't have that. And that's what I'm saying, man. I think that I saw, I posted. Martin Luther King put that uh, hunger does not have to, we can end hunger. Yes, we can because the, the that, and, I, and, I, and I, I'm all over the place, but I'm going to end this here. But I just want to say this. Every 
everything that happens in the world affect us some way, somehow. Because if there's devastation in Louisiana and it causes the insurance companies to pay more money, guess what? You're going to assume some of that cost wherever you are because the insurance is going to start going up everywhere, right? Yeah. So when they adjust the interest rates, it don't just adjust for one part of the country. It adjusts for all. It's just some people more more capable of having whatever they want regardless of what the, the interest rate is. You understand? So yeah, we're all in this together. And until we learn that, we're going to struggle. And just like, you know, you, you, you send your children to school with the best. You drive the best, you live the best. But unless you 100% sure that every child that your children meets fellowship with is on the same level, they can be influenced by somebody that don't have a dime. They can. They can. So we just have to pray for each other. We, we have to pray for uh, peace and, and love in the world and uh, that that those who have are not so selfish that they won't give back. And that's what they say, to whom much is given, much is required. You understand? I I don't want to make this about me, but I'm just, I'm just telling you what I've learned in my 57 years of life. Some things I've been taught, some things I've experienced, some things I've watched and experienced through other people. I didn't actually go through it. Y'all see how that thing, that stuff back there look like it's, I need to see about that. I don't like how that looks. But anyway, so I'm all over the place, but I just wanted to share that with y'all. All right, it's Friday. It's February the 10th. Y'all be blessed. Remember my, uh, remember love could change people, situations, and circumstances if we let it and make someone smile today, okay? Much love. Talk to y'all later. Bye.